What's up, y'all? So what now? Who is Ken? Uh, Ken has dropped his um his first video. You know what I'm saying? So we about to see what Ken got going on your dick. I got me an egg and cheese sandwich. Had. <clears throat> y'all get whatever y'all got. Bring it. Let's go. Bring it. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Nick G, the host, and today I'm back with another reaction video. Before we go any further, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. You dig what I'm saying? And uh, what the goddamn hell you leak? All right, we already read the title. Let's get it. What up, Ken, in his garage? It's like the first video. Who is Ken? Now, I'm not here to waste anybody's time, so we're going to jump right into it. I am Ken. Now, of course, if you don't already know, my friends and I, uh, we started like a fitness brand called Inner Athlete that I think you guys should check out uh, on Instagram. Uh, I'll put that here. Uh, I, of course, play Call of Duty. No Tim, no Tim, no Tim, no Tim, no, 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 no. I'm gonna start back in maybe about two weeks. I need to I need to get back right. I ain't played the game in quite a minute. You know I, mean? I also have this Oculus that I like to play. And if you play Beat Saber and you think you can beat my score or if you want me to beat your score, holla at me because I'm really legit at that game. Get a dog, I said. It would be fun, I said. And now, there's mountains of hair everywhere, everywhere. Now, obviously there's a lot of things that I'm working on, but I think I want to name them just yet. I think I'm gonna just let it stay behind the scenes for a little bit longer. If you like this channel, stick around. It's gonna be a lot of fun. We're still gonna do the travel here and there. Hey, come here, come here, Zoe. If you don't already know, oh, oh, we got a nice, okay, okay. We got a beautiful rock roller named Zoe. Okay, now, okay. But um, yeah, we're just gonna stick around and if you guys wanna find out who Ken is, here it is. Another thing I'm pretty big on is awareness projects with my first one being. You know, these damn women, they will bring out the personality in a man, won't they? Ken is just what we thought he would be. Ken born as hell. <laughs> but I thought he was going to show us the career, <laughs> and he didn't. However, I'm still here to support. Um, I like Ken. Uh, he's he's getting into his handsome, too, isn't he? He's, he's, he's getting... Bet on the eyes here lately. Um, let's just keep watching. A pretty big one that's kind of in the works right now. Not gonna say too much because I kind of just want it to happen organically. If you are into those type of videos, stay tuned. If you're not, then stay tuned. We got a lot in store. All right, so I changed clothes and I was having trouble trying to figure out where I want this video to go, but kind of got a little hold on it now. So on Instagram, I asked you guys to ask me a couple questions. Can okay, you couldn't give us a goddamn house tour? Yeah, we couldn't get a house tour. <laughs> For the first video, it's <laughs> come on, fuck. Okay. That you guys may have been wondering, a couple things that you wanted to know. A couple people kind of said that I shouldn't do this and I should do it in like a separate video. I don't want to be answering these questions for a long period of time where in every video. I'm gonna do a couple questions now. So one of the main questions that I get pretty much almost every day is, Ken, how are you doing physically, mentally, and emotionally? Okay. Physically, I'm good. Emotionally, I could be better. Mentally, I'm good. So that was like the, the short answer. I mean, there's obviously a long answer that I don't want to drag it all the way out, but yeah, those are those short answers. And why did I get a squeaky toy? Next question, or it's not really a question. It's kind of like a statement. I'm not really sure, but it says, describe the journey in one word. And why did I get a squeaky toy? Describe the journey in one word. And I guess the word that I would use is enlightening. Hey, Zoe, hey. He's not gonna say it, but I am. Can you go sit your ass down over there? We know you here. Probably wasn't even thinking about that damn toy till the camera came on. Here you come with, with the toy. We done waited for this, and you just want to squeak. Sit down. I 
I guess the word that I would use, have to change out toys. Uh, so again, describe the word in one journey, or describe the journey in one word. I guess the word I would use is enlightening, because in this time, I've grown to learn a lot of things about myself, about the people around me, all of that. So somebody, so we do like a few general ones. So they like favorite pair of dunks. Damn, definitely my favorite pair. I love the color, love the laces, love everything about these. I could wear these almost every day, but I try not to, because you know, I'm not trying to, trying to wear them out. Another person asked, what are my goals for the next year? And at first, I wasn't really gonna mention too much, but one of the things I will mention is I do plan on starting a podcast before the end of this year. I'm not gonna say the name of it, but I do plan to start a podcast down here in my basement. That's one of the, the small things that I plan to do. Another question is type of content. This is a very hard question to answer, especially for like a new channel, because easy thing to do is just kind of vlog a little bit. I feel like that's like the easier style of content. While I will do, you know, a little, little smidget of vlogging, like here and there when I travel or when friends or I do certain things like that. There will be a small variety of like different pieces of content like I mentioned earlier like awareness projects or you know prank my friend here and there. Who knows? I mean it's kind of like up in the air but I do plan to be very versatile on this channel. I don't really plan to just do like this. Sit in front of the camera and talk all the time. Not gonna be that. Another good question. Somebody asked What made us start Interathlete? Um, so the entire idea of Interathlete is, it's almost like an idea to step out of your comfort zone, right? Like achieve like this inner athlete in you. Like you don't have to be the most physically gifted or the strongest person or anything like anything like that. You just have to be willing to come out, take a leap, have fun. That's all that matters. That was the entire idea of the first Interathlete event. You know what I'm saying? Learn a little bit about yourself, learn what you can do, what you want to work on, things like that. That was pretty much the entire idea idea behind it. Another question that I get a lot is how are you so grounded? How do you ignore the negativity? And one tip that I'm about to give you, I probably could have used it a couple months ago. I always tell people you have you have a choice. You have a route, right? That you're always gonna take. Whether that route is a bad route or a good route. You have to just choose the route of happiness. Like all the time. Choose this route. If you don't and you decide to choose a route that's kinda gonna that's kinda gonna make you unhappy, that unhappiness then leads to bad decisions and just stupid things, right? So if you always just stick to this route, wake up every morning willingly choosing this route of happiness instead of focusing on things that are gonna stress you out or make you unhappy or compromise your peace, that's just what it's gonna be, you know? So always choose the route of happiness. No matter what, no matter what anyone says, this thing For a second video, maybe. Yeah. <clears throat> For the first video and we all sitting here waiting. We was waiting. Even if you don't feel like we was waiting, we was waiting. And I mean, God damn, Ken. <laughs> These women, they really make these men, man. Facts. Here, this route makes you happy. I'ma just, I, I gotta get some water. I'ma just, I'ma play it. I'm, wait.
choose it all the time, 100% of the time. Now, a main question that I do get is what will happen in the future, like with everything, right? And it's a very easy answer to that because so many people ask is, I don't know, I can't see the future, I can't read people's minds, I don't know how anyone's thinking, I don't know anything. Future is just gonna be the future. Nobody can see the future, nor am I looking too far ahead into the future. I have things right now that I'm focused on and that's where my mentality is. So I hope that answers the general question that everybody asks is I can't see the future. You guys can't, I can't, so let's just live right here in this moment. And the last thing that people ask me a lot is can. Can we have a house tour? The short answer is sure, let's do it. So this will be the kitchen. You know, it's a pretty large island that I love. All new appliances, and some LG, got an air fryer, gas top, all those different things. Bar stools that I've got from Target, if you like them, you know what I'm saying? Put the things together yourself. Another thing that I like about it is it has like the little built-in garbage can, which as you can see, I have to take out the garbage. Now, the other thing that I don't like about this kitchen is that these cabinets way up here, and as you can see, no real way to even get up there. This will be my living room. Nothing too crazy. Simple couch from Wayfair. Coffee table from Wayfair. Probably the best thing in here. The art, canvascultures.com. Check them out. Now this will be a dining area eventually, whenever I decide to kind of get the chairs and probably get rid of this table and get a new one. But as you can see, canvas culture's in the back. Once again, it's no fault, shout out. This will be my basement area. As you can see, it is nowhere near together. Do I have to get the TV mounted? I'm gonna redo this entire setup. This was just kind of temporary so I can play the game. This entire area is gonna operate almost as like a third bedroom too. Yeah, excuse the luggage is open. Got back from San Diego a couple days ago. Okay, that pretty much wraps it up, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. I didn't show you guys the bedrooms, but yeah, if you guys enjoy, hit the thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell so you guys can always get notified when I do drop a video. I'm going to strive right now to drop a YouTube. Congratulations, Kim. I would say that's a very nice look at I just can't even. I, I, I told the people, I said, look, y'all don't hate on Ken. Ken gonna come with it, you know. Ken gonna drop a banger. <laughs> Ken gonna drop a banger. You know, I said that. I said it. I said, Ken is gonna drop a banger and... He dropped. He dropped. This is just not a way to start it off. I, I thought he was started off with something just fat, like boom. You know. And I mean. Um, Candace had that place for a minute. Y'all remember when the tea room was like, uh, he was looking for a new place and you know, things like that. So he ended up moving first. Looked like the probably just kept the old spot until, um, or she moved somewhere else and then finally got into her spot cause nothing was in her place. Um, and I don't know when she recorded either, but nothing was in her place, but 
I don't know why he wouldn't record it. I'm just upset. <laughs> I'm upset, but I'm going to still support him. You know, I was a, I'm a Ken fan too. You know, we could just be, can't, I don't know what to say. I'm going to stand beside him. I'm going to stand beside him. And I just hope his next video will be better. All right. I'm going to stand behind him. That's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. All right. I'm done with this video. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. We are on to the next video.